Hi, I'm Alex, a first year studying the dual honours degree, Maths and Philosophy within Natural Sciences. That means I get to take the maths modules that I like and the philosophy modules that I like, and together they make my degree. Uh, but I'm considered, I'm like half a math student and half a philosophy student. Um, and I did this just because I love them both and I, I couldn't choose. Uh, and I really enjoy the day to day variety of going, of studying two quite different subjects. So I like proving that a linear operator is self adjoint in the morning and then um, thinking about the implications of teleportation on personal identity in the afternoon. Um, so it is, I, I consider it quite an exciting and fun degree. Um, in general, it does seem to mean that you get um, twice the career prospects as um, a single honours student. Um, so, for example, I'm looking at doing teaching and the teaching qualifications that I want to do, PGCE, Teach First. Um, they're happy to take me on as a maths teacher despite only having done half a maths degree. Uh, obviously, please look at specific requirements, but it does seem like you have twice the career prospects. Um, you also develop twice the skills. Um, so maths and philosophy are quite different in the sense that for maths you need those um, technical analytical skills and then in philosophy you've got the creative critical skills of reading and writing um, and employers when they see that that could be quite impressive. Um, however to develop both of those skills you have to be really good at two different things uh, which is quite tricky. Now obviously this depends on how far apart your subjects are. If you're doing maths and physics then that isn't a problem. If anything that's a really good thing because your understanding of maths will really augment your understanding of physics. Um, and that might be the case a bit with maths and philosophy um, because of the, the logical abstract nature of them both. Um, but the reading and writing skills I have to develop in philosophy, I have less time to develop them because I spend less time doing philosophy in general. Um, but it's it's been manageable, um, so it's it's not the end of the world that problem. Um, and I I was worried about um, the workload, whether it be twice the work. Uh, it, it, it isn't. You take the same number of credits as a single honor student. This year I'm doing three modules in each um, and it's typical to do six modules. Uh, so um, no more, no less work than a single honor student. Uh, I was also worried about uh, departments not communicating and having clashes and things. That hasn't been an issue at all. I haven't had any clashes in lectures or exams and I still feel part of both departments. Uh, I still go to math society things. I've still been to philosophy football. And in general, it seems like there's a lot of uh, dual honors uh, philosophy people and it really kind of enriches uh, the culture because people are coming from all sorts of different um, backgrounds and they have lots of subjects that they can bring to the table. Um, so in general, uh, pros, um, the I love the variety and you get twice the skills and quite twice the careers prospects and the cons uh, is a little bit more difficult. Uh, but all in all, I think it's worth it. I'm going to keep going with my degree uh, as a um, with my two degrees. So, um, yeah, thanks.